Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some Broteto Assassin. We're gonna play Chara, which I believe is the evil version of... I almost said Earthbound. Undertale. Uh, 20 damage to sharp weapons, 1% chance to deal a gazillion times crit. What is that? Nine. Uh, thousand... 99 million percent damage to a random enemy plus two sharpness for every three crit you have plus 10 dodge can't sorry can't have engineering range elemental harvesting or luck hmm so i feel like oh chainsaw is a sharp weapon why is chainsaw slowed um, so I feel like, uh, knife is going to be really good. I think I'm going to try the thief stagger cause it already has no increase in damage. It's not a sharp weapon. All right. We're going to go chainsaw then because, uh, I mean, chainsaw's base damage is, uh, so yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong that a uh, knife is sharp, but it's not a <laughs> not a sharp weapon. You know, it's uh, can't get any harvesting. Melee damage barely scales on this. I'm gonna go roll. Um, because sharp. Yeah, Assassin has the big armor down, so we'll take armor. Oh, the crossbow's also sharp. That could be really good. Lock the crit, lock the damage. Uh, 23... I think I'll just go with the crit. Maybe that's a mistake. Um, because it does have the sharpness up, so... Not a huge mistake. And I also, you know, want the crit. I don't care about the 9 million crit. It is... There's probably some point in endless mode where that wouldn't be an insta-kill. But that's... Obviously, that would be like... Oh, God. I mean, 9 million times 3. You know, when would that affect it? Um, maybe so I can just have some more HP. I probably don't want to go too low, but with the, the fact that my armor is going to be tanked into oblivion, which makes these characters a lot more difficult for me. I'm a very armor centric boy. So I, I really do need the, the buffed armor <laughs> most of the time. So, that, that's why I'm constantly trying to rebuff my armor. Make sure we have it more potent. Um, is that very... Why is it a point... Oh, I, I think that's because it's swipe. Instead of stab. Is that what it is? Are they... they change? Nope. Um... They don't... I guess I'll take it as, like, a one-off. Oh, that's actually not as bad. So I was like, ugh, do I want that? Because I'm going to lose the harvesting. I'm not going to lose any harvesting. I have negative 100%. <laughs> I have 100% reduction in effects. Um, sure. I, I, I guess it's not going to hurt having more harvesting. Um, definitely want lots of crit rate. The crit rate modifying item would be big if true. Absolutely a great item to grab. Um, the... <sighs> well, what's a really good crit item? Um, the... Like, it's poison tonic. It's attack speed, crit, and... Something. It's minus two regen. That'd be pretty good. We can't have luck. Uh, I suppose I'll go with the crit. 
Dodge is tempting as well, because I really do need some dodge. Ooh, pickup radius is huge. I'll just take both of these, and we won't roll. Oh, we shan't roll. But that's, you know, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll make do with what we have. So what are we at? Negative five? No. That's a negative four. Okay. Yeah, I'd need one more to be at negative five. Which is, you know, it's it's a concern I've got. Not excited to be at such low, such low uh, armor, but I mean, give like almost any weapon plus twenty damage, and it's gonna it's gonna perform a lot better. Along with the fact that it uh, all crits scale. That was why I was thinking. I was like, oh, I want to go with the knife because you know, it's technically sharp. The attack speed. Ooh. That's a good amount of armor. I don't like the speed down. Lock everything. But that alleviates, you know, some of my armor woes. And we got a purple already? Six and a purple? That's got to be one of the earliest purples I've ever seen. You know? Like, that's, that's pretty early. Uh, I want to say thank you so very much, everyone, for all the continued support you've been giving the series. We're at, you know, like, closing in on 150. I think this is 142. Let me know if I got that right. Um, but we've been, you know, at this for a while, and it's, it's still getting very good views. And I'm very happy. I'm very pleased. Comments have been very good. The more comments... The more we get to fight the YouTube algorithm. Make it bend to our will. Uh, good, I can get the crit. So, it's not a huge buff right now. 37 crit chances. Pretty good. Um, still could use more dodge. Absolutely could use more dodge. But, uh, I mean, 150s, like, whew, that's some that's some hefty numbers right there. I did kind of want to go with the knife, because I think it's, I think it's a, uh, basically a kitchen knife is, like, what Chara is known for, I think. Um, a lot of the animations I've seen that involving Undertale stuff has always been, like, the kitchen knife. The Vorpal Blade from Alice Madness Returns. I think that was the first time I've seen the insta-kill. It was, like, really low down here. So I don't know if it was, it was like, right here-ish, I think. Yeah, really piggy bank. It'll definitely, definitely get me more than five. Definitely take the armor. We'll get an upgrade. We'll keep holding that blood leech. I definitely need more forms of healing. Absolutely need them. And, uh, it's... So, I, I paused because I was like, do I want to talk about this? I think I do. Um, just... <laughs> some of my YouTube history. Um, because I've... This channel has been around for uh, over 10 years now. And I actually made videos on YouTube before this channel. Um, and one of the early things, I always was fascinated with Let's Plays and, and playthroughs and like, you know, having that experience of like, oh, dude, you're watching, you know, like your friend, like you're hanging out with your friend playing a video game. And I always thought that was super like, that is what I... One of my favorite things about YouTube. Um, so, when very early... Uh, geez, I think I, I think I just graduated. So that was... Over 13 years ago. No, it was before that. Um, I believe it was roughly when Alice Madness Return was new. I did a full playthrough of the game on YouTube. 
recording with my phone because <laughs> I didn't have. Uh, God, did I even have a computer at the time? I mean, I've always had access to a computer, but not like a good one. And I, I so I, I played it on PS3. And I literally, I went through, like, a lot of painstaking work, like, setting up the camp. Like, I, I recorded on my Samsung phone, and I literally, like, had it, like, leaned up against something. Um, I, I messed with my lights in my room to, to make it so it didn't, like, shine anything on the screen. I, it looked kind of terrible, and I, like, I made sure it was zoomed in just enough so, like, the... Uh, edge of the TV and, and everything. But, uh, Alice Madness Returns was one of the first things. It was one of the, because it was not, it was not even on this channel. It was on an entirely different channel. Um, I got the 12%. Ooh, that crit. Um, what's the knockback on this? non-existent it's probably worth it still uh but it was on uh one of my i don't i don't know the password i don't even i literally don't even remember the email anymore but uh it was just it's just like i remember playing it and I, I genuinely do did really like the game i didn't do what's the first one called uh, American McGee's Alice. I had the the disc that when I bought it, it came with American McGee's Alice, which is, I believe, way better if you play it on PC because its controls suck. Like, you could tell it's PC controls on a console, how I played it. So it was, like, really bad, but I love the atmosphere of those games. Like, it was just so freaking cool. And I've always been, you know, very fascinated with, like, the really dark, um, like, w when they take, you know, the more simplistic, cutesy, whatever, like, Alice in Wonderland. I saw the Disney one originally, uh, and, and then they take and, like, just change it into, like, way darker and everything. Like, I, I always thought that was really, really cool, um, and I really liked it, and at my job... Uh, worked at McDonald's. Uh, there's a part in the game where they, they punish someone because they're not following instructions. Just, Don't be a bad worker. Uh, so, so we used to do that all the time at work. Uh, you know, especially it's... Let's be honest, it was... Uh, not the... Uh, it's, it's McDonald's. It's not the most welcoming uh, workplace environment. So, we would do that all the time, and it was, it's just, it's crazy to think, like, how long ago that was, like, uh, what has changed since then, because, I mean, like, literally, it was like 2010 or 11, um, and j just because I brought it out, it just made me think that and I want to kind of share that with you. I've, I've basically always wanted to make videos, even earlier when I was in high school, I was releasing videos. Uh, when I was a, I think on my other channel, I've privated every video, um, cause they were terrible, but freshman year, I believe is when I started, and that was, you know, 2006, I think. Uh, so I've been... I've had my nose to the grindstone for a little while. <laughs> but... Uh, no. I don't know, I just wanted to share that. Uh, I think I will take the reduction because it's going to mean all enemies will do less damage. And that's that's basically one free armor. And the regen is very nice, too. I think that's, I think that's definitely worth it. But... What, what are, well, like, some of the... Like, think... <laughs> think, think back, like, you know, 15, 20, like, 
just how much everything has changed. Like, what were some of your, like, cool uh, video game... I mean, it doesn't even necessarily have to be video game related. Uh, incident, or incidents, um, memories, however you want to word it. Because uh, I remember, like, the... Th that was, like... Yeah, that had, that had to be before I had a laptop, because I believe I started this channel when I got my laptop. And I was recording The Binding of Isaac. It was... I believe The Binding of Isaac was the... F no, I did, um... I did... Uh... God-awful podcast. You can... If you, if you want to see... Oh, sweet young me... Mm. That's pretty early. I, I guess I'll take it. Nah. I, I don't want to double down too hard. But. Because uh, I... I usually... If there's a video that's gone missing... Most of the time it's gone missing... Because I refuse to let uh, someone... That was a huge damage number. Um, I refuse to let someone else steal my efforts. Uh, so, like, when, you know, the game come Like, before, or earlier YouTube, the, like, the copyright claims. And it hasn't gotten much better. Because that, that whole system is busted. But it was basically... Um, you can file a counterclaim. If you're wrong, we're going to stick a strike on your channel. Or at least they alluded, because they didn't want you to fight them. Um, unless, like, you know, you, you knew, like, a lot more. I literally had people, like, flagging. It'd be like, um, Disney owns the music in your video. And it's literally me talking. There's, like, nothing else in it. There is no back... Well... There is background, but it's, you know, like, fan. It is just me in a room, and they're like, we own that content, you stole it. Is there... These are assassin weapons, huge. Big if true. Um, Which always just cheesed me off so much. So it's like, those are... I don't actually delete the videos, I just private them, which is... I'm never gonna unprivate it. Um... Especially when it's, like, some of the, the most idiotic, like, false claims. That's why if you look at some of my videos, they'll have muted moments in it. Um, and, you know, I, I can't, like, delete it and re-upload it. I'm, I'm not sure exactly if YouTube will let me just stick text on the screen. Because YouTube has an editor, but it's kind of bad. Um, so I just want to stick text on the screen, you know, and be like... Uh, Corporate douchebag stole my money, basically. Because uh, especially, especially when uh, something like Fortnite is... They have a setting for ooh, copyright protection. So they have a setting in it that's like, we will not have copyrighted music play. And then the copyrighted music plays. Uh, and that really gets under my skin because, like, now Fortnite, I, I've never gotten a claim from Fortnite specifically. I'm just, that was an example. Um, another one is Atomic Heart has uh, copyright, has a copyright free thing. Um, but there's background music that gets flagged for copyright. And that's stupid. Because I literally... Well, one, uh, the copyright holder does not own the music. Because uh, I'm like 99% sure... Ooh, uh, all of Beethoven is royalty-free now. Because it's 500 years old or whatever. I, I don't... Maybe it's only 300 years old, but... Like, that's copyright for you. Like, I believe the Nutcracker is... is uh, Open... No, it's not open source. That's code. 
What's the term? Ooh. Yes. 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 I don't think that's going to be that good, but I'm going to take it. Yes. I don't have a structure. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, but... Yeah, so, so like, I know that there, there are things that the copyright has expired, so it's public domain. I think that's the word I was looking for. And I know, like, the Nutcrackers theme is public domain. Um, or at least the, the thing you associate with the Nutcracker, like, da -da 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 -da. okay, I, I can't, it's the Nutcracker, I mean, I don't. I, I can't like really think of it, but but it's like they're like ah, uh, it's Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven, it's Fur Elise, it's you know the Eighth Symphony, and it's like you don't own the rights to that, like effectively Tim from accounting. It's public domain, and that's actually a problem with Atomic Heart is it's they have a setting that is royalty free music or sorry is uh i think it actually is it says like royalty free music but it's supposed to protect me and then it doesn't protect me um and and like uh it's always super frustrating because i don't technically know who copyright holders are for most most of the time i don't know um or or for claimants which is a super frustrating thing because it's like checky specky's fun time movie studio is the one who who claims my video and I'm like that's a false claim like just for argument's sake it'd be like um th this was written by Sia it's chandelier they don't own like you know, look at whoever the record label is for that. And I'm like, that's not whoever the heck that is. And it's like, oh, well, they just told... They gave the rights to claim it. Or, like, it's a ad claim agency or whatever you want to call it. They just go through and flag stuff. And I know half the reason that that's so frustrating, or it is to me, at least, is... Like, they don't do a good job of explaining any of the the flags so you know i want to fight it like if, if it's truly theirs like i guess that's fine i mean i'm, I'm making transformative content i'm not just re-uploading their musics or or whatever it is so like that's kind of bull uh because i know people are like oh well copyright law does this 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 and i'm like yeah well you have to fight it in court, and then you can win. Because, like, apparently, if you're on the screen, you can, and doing reactions, so long as you're on the screen, that's technically considered transformative. But that's not going to stop Fox from taking down me reacting to uh, Kitchen Nightmare. Kitchen Nightmares, or, or Hell's Kitchen, or something like that. Like, legally, I might be fine, um, but I'll, I will lose my YouTube channel in the meantime, and then seven years later, when I fight it in court, I can legally tell uh, YouTube to reinstate my channel, and they'll be like, all right, um, your channel's been deleted. It doesn't exist anymore, so have fun, buddy. You know, so... Uh, it's something that my my dad says is uh, you can you can be right and you can be dead right. It's the same thing of uh, I bring up a couple of these. It's like you can win the battle, but you can't win the war. Um, it uh, you can, don't fight city hall. Um, if, if you don't understand, it's you don't fight the government because you'll you'll win that one, but the government will then never leave you be. So you you have to be ready to fight. Uh, same thing. You don't like with your boss. 
uh, with with jobs. Like they'll they can't fire you wrongly for things, but they can also well he you know he's not good at following instructions. He he you know insubordinate blah blah blah. Like and it works all around the world. It wouldn't just be an American thing. You you know there are corrupt people who exist. Corrupt people are buttholes and ruin things. Um. Uh, yeah. And it's it's super frustrating when that's the case, but I think I will take that. I gotta be a little careful. Oh, I could just go to nothing and then die immediately. No. Um big sag. I'll lock it for the never. But it's just so even if... Oh! Did I proc the super kill on the boss? Real knife. It's real. Um, scales 100% off melee and crit. Range is, I think, literally the lowest in the game. That's interesting. So it's just a big damage weapon. Pretty interesting, though. But thank you so very much for watching. Leave a comment down below. It helps fight against the YouTube algorithm. Holy crap, we're 26 minutes in and I already won. Excuse me? Like, what? I guess I made really quick decisions. For a second, I was like, did this lower the timer? <laughs> but thank you very much, everyone, for being here. Um, like I said, leave a comment. Super helpful. Uh, I really enjoy reading them and I hope I will see you all in the next one. Make sure you hit subscribe. Should be stuff on the screen. You can click on it if you want to. Thank you. Goodbye.